<laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. I'm excited. Uh, we'll be a little bit nervous, I think, tomorrow at the start line. But uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. Uh, happy, proud and also excited. Yeah, tomorrow on the Champs-Élysées, it's the big goal to go for the yellow. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the actually the last two stages because they are close to my area and it's just the uh, most climbing stages, so for sure these two. But also the gravel stage, I think it should be interesting and yeah, exciting also. I'm looking forward since the beginning of the season for this race and especially tomorrow. Um, because when I became an elite rider, there was no race on the Champs-Élysées for us, us anymore. So I waited around four or five years for it. Yeah, it feels special actually to be a French rider and yeah, to race the first uh, Tour de France of the new era. So yeah, for sure I'm just uh, proud and yeah, a bit more pressure I think than maybe the rest of the girls, but just really yeah, proud. Yeah, my family is coming, my parents and my brother. So that will also be a bit of a special moment. Good. Um, I think the goal we don't have to talk about, I think that one is clear. Most of the times I would say Charlotte wait the longest. If we need to chase, we start with Francisca. And preferably she does everything alone and as long as possible. But the other scenario would be better because we can be really useful in the final as well. Then we go towards the final, let's say the final lap-ish. I think uh, normally the first one that does something, Francisca, and then we have Juliette, Liana, Liana, Juliette. I think it really depends on the amount of work that Liana needs to put in first. I think when you watch to the teams, I think track, I think is mainly, I think the, the biggest yeah. part of our, let's say, uh, op opponents with, with the lead out. Jumbo will also try Yeah, and I think that the dangers with, with Jumbo is they will be there. And I think Foss will start the sprint really early. Yeah. And I think that's also one thing to really be careful for, that if she starts, that she doesn't box in you or you for example yeah. that if she yeah. starts on the right go a bit to the right yeah. yeah then already make the space that you can go in between the yeah. the fence and uh, and the lead out let's say it like that if you're thinking uh after the last right corner oh maybe i can help just don't do it don't uh, take the risk to bring others back to the front um, yeah and i think when we are with the three of us we know how to do it, you will use other teams. Yeah. Um, if you need to do something, do it earlier. Yeah, earlier and mm -hmm. we will find another wheel. Okay, then uh, good luck and enjoy. Just under two hours of racing, Henderson looks around to see who's going to take this sprint. Here goes Mariana Voss. Mariana Voss hits the front really, really early. Voss firing across, Lorena Wiebes, Mariana Voss. Lorena Wiebes wins stage one. History is made, the first yellow jersey. <laughs>
but it's so nice. All those people, amazing. Uh, goosebumps. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, pretty special actually. Uh, like we always watch it on TV, and to actually be here and yeah, pretty crazy in the final actually. Almost yeah, crashed a million times, but <laughs> in the end it paid off. And yeah, for Lewin to get the yellow jersey, I think yeah, pretty special. Well, I was quite relaxed uh, before the start. We did everything as normal. Uh, we saw this as a normal race. <laughs> I was a bit nervous towards the final. I'm really happy to finish this off. Winning the first stage means to have the yellow jersey. What does it feel? Yeah, it's amazing. I'm really, really happy with this. But yeah, I think the whole team deserved this. After the amazing season we already had. And uh, we are ready for the next ones. Yeah, it was overall a really special day. Um, yeah, there was a lot of attention for us overall the whole day uh, with media and um, I think as a team we were quite relaxed uh, before the start and also during the race we kept everything under control and um, yeah, the final was pretty much chaos. So um, yeah, I stayed with Fiverr and it uh, <laughs> worked out really good. Um, we were not in the best position uh, with 1k to go. But I kept on trusting Fiverr and she did an amazing job uh, to bring me totally to the front, uh, close to Mariana. And as expected, she started to sprint really early. So uh, yeah, it was a long finish, <laughs> but I'm happy uh, to finish it off. I think I'm still not realizing it totally, but I think it will come maybe tomorrow at the start line or during the day. Yeah, it's great to uh, be on the podium anyway and uh, yeah it's special to win on the Champs-Élysées. Yeah tomorrow we will go again uh, for the stage victory. Uh, it will be a completely different finish because the last kilometer is uphill for 4% efforts but I think um, we can do it and uh, maybe <laughs> today gave a little bit of extra motivation. <laughs> And it will be even more nice to, to win a stage in yellow. So, um, yeah, I hope we can uh, keep uh, the yellow jersey as long as possible in the team. <laughs> no, don't do that. Yeah, I'm too German. Oh, yeah, I think. Oops, I think. Yeah, yeah, now I'm okay with the speech. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, thanks for the really special moment. And uh, I'm happy to. Yeah, to celebrate it with you all and uh, we worked all really hard for it, so we really deserve it and uh, we go for it tomorrow. Thanks to you all. Thanks. It's gonna be a nice day. Um, when you look to the tactics, I think the goal is to uh, aim for a stage win again and make sure that Juliet has the same time as the winner. Uh, and if you see options, we go for it, uh, echelon wise. And I think with the green jersey, if the sprint is there, I should just go for it. I think sa same like yesterday, the first intermediate sprint. Yeah. Still on the finish line, there's more points than in the intermediate sprint, so that's something to take into account. In account, but I would not uh, let it, let it, uh, let it go. Would uh, would participate. More questions? No. No. Let's go. Let's go. Rider in yellow has a big, big problem right now where everything went to plan yesterday. Today, the plan is totally unfurling.
Yeah, I think we just missed uh, the Yana Pfeiffer after the sprint. Mm -hmm. We just closed it directly, it took too long. Like, and I was in the front, but I was like, I, I cannot close it myself now. Like, mm -hmm. It cost too much. Yeah, I didn't expect that Kasia and stuff would go for the sprint. It was uh, actually quite hectic. The break went, but this was fine, and the start was not so hard. And then uh, at the first section where we had crosswind, it didn't really split, but we caught the breakaway. And then from there on, it was just nervous the whole time. Uh, a lot of crashes. Uh, and at the sprint, it actually split, and we had no one in the front, so it was not a good situation for us. Uh, and Pfeiffer and uh, Jana tried to close it, but actually in the front they were really strong, so we couldn't close it. But yeah, I think we did our best, and also compliment on C4, keeping us safe until the circuit. So yeah, some time lost, and the yellow jersey, so I think we can be a bit sad, but a lot of days to come. Goals for today, keep the GC from Juliet or maybe move spots when it's possible, and a day result with Liana. This will be new for you, Liana. We spoke yesterday, but I will change my plan a bit. Okay. <laughs> I did speak to you this morning, but it's not for the worse. It's for the better, I think, for everybody. But you will... Uh, I had a good sleep this night, and I thought about it, and I thought, ah, maybe we should do it a little bit different. Okay. Um, so you can give your opinion, of course. Mm -hmm. Everybody else also. Um, for the start, uh, it can be crazy hard. Uh, main goal is we don't have to do anything, so focus on positioning. And that's Francisca and uh, Charlotte. You two are actually the whole day focus on position, keep us in a good spot. And it starts already when the flag drops. I think the roads are, every city is getting narrow. It's a lot of twisting and turning, up and down. I think it will really benefit us to be in the first uh, 20, 30 of the bunch to not spend energy. So if you need to spend energy in it, please do. So you don't have to ride all the time in the wind, but make sure that we're on position. And preferably as long as possible. If I have the choice, you will do it till the steep climb. I also know it's uh, maybe a bit too far, but really fight your way back because every help is welcome. It's never about us riding all the time in the wind. It's us being on position where we need to. Then, uh, sounds like we have a plan. Let's rock this. This is really, really good. Time for the favourites of the general classification to explain themselves. But on the descent, following makes a mistake, taking Lippitt it's with gonna her. It's going to be a head-to-head -head sprint between Voss, Rashley Mom and Passio. Here comes Cecilia Utrup Ludwig. Cecilia Utrup Ludwig qui va aller s'imposer. <laughs> Oh, I stay here. Okay, so I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Yeah, we came back. I was with uh, Voss and Ludwig on top of the climb. Yeah. We together and I uh, think with Kaiser came back. On the steep one. Yeah. yeah. So then we actually made it back to the front. And on the bonus point, Faulkner went. But yeah. he exploded and Mulman went, but I went back to the downhill directly. And then yeah, I was crashed on my limit. I don't know what happened to Yannick. Well, yeah, already before the climb when Kasia she went crazy yeah. on my inside. You had to do full gas. Oh, pretty oh, hopefully Pfeiffer was here, but I'm not, I was really full gas already yeah. when it didn't even start it. Yeah, shit. Yeah. But I was yeah. not far on top. And I was it's like, good. okay, I'm going to make it to the end and then yeah. I turn you on the ground. Thanks, Simon. Yeah, I hear it. Uh, until okay. the start was actually okay. Um, I felt really good for the stage today. And then um, 
Yeah, I was with the best. I don't know how many were left on top, but I was under control with the best riders. I felt really good. And then Demi Vollering slipped away in the corner in front of me and took me down. And for me it took a bit longer because my chain dropped to be back on the bike and she already left. And yeah, I was just in between and I couldn't close it anymore. I think everybody has the same plan. Be on the gravel first. Or be at the climb first, be on the gravel first. I think that should be key as well. And if it costs energy, it costs energy. Because I think it could be really crucial for the, uh, for the rest of the stage to get in the rhythm that we want to be. Keep the GC where it is, or maybe move up a bit. And the second goal is to see if we can get a day result out of it. Because I had to close it, yeah. but uh, I was yeah. and, uh, and then they went they on the back. They never let us go. No, never. Even when you went on the climb, like... It's okay. I got dropped on like every climb, and then yeah, came but back. Yeah, back on every section. The speed came really out, and it was a big group. Yeah. And then there was a big attack of Kasia and uh, Post, and I had to close it. Sure. And at this moment, like after I closed it, yeah, the tree which made it, it went. went. And, and Royce I went. Was still, yeah, she Royce was in the group. Still ahead. What? Royce, one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. yeah. And then two more bridged. Yeah. And I went on the last time. I had a gap. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they wouldn't let me go. <laughs> it's so annoying. Sure. In the end, in the sprint, I was boxed in completely. I yeah. had to break. So yeah. It was uh, in the car. Was a lot of chaos. I think on the bike as well. But we survived on a good way. We uh, no punctures. Uh, Two girls uh, with Liana and Juliette in the, in the group with the favorites. So I think all in all we can be uh, happy with the outcome of today. So yeah. too bad we lose Charlotte due to uh, fatigue and yeah, it's shit. But I think in the end it's smart smart choice to uh, to stop and uh, focus on the rest of the season. Yeah, then for today, it um, yeah I think we can be clear what we want. I think that's a sprint. But the way to there is uh, the one that is the most tricky one, I guess. And the one that we should be really sharp on. So we have, I think, two options. Uh, anyway, from the from the beginning, we should be sharp if it's like complete chaos. If complete chaos would actually help us, huh? in this case. The longer they jump and we have it sort of under control, uh, the easier it will get for us. Because then the, the controlling part is getting less. So, in the case of the scenario of three girls go from the when the flag drops, it's fine. And Francisca has a really long day. <laughs> Sorry to say that. <laughs> it's okay. Um, but also, there I think at one point uh, probably you need to jump in Liana as well to help out a bit. I think the the thing that we need to do then, if it's really three girls from the flag down, and we already have the feeling. That nobody will help us. So maybe also maybe ask around a bit what pe what the teams want. Yeah. Maybe Jumbo Trek, SD. I don't know, but Jumbo Trek. I think maybe are the the ones to uh, to check with. If not, just keep it close. This is your captain speaking. We are live from stage four, five, sorry, five. <laughs> Three minutes and 30 seconds. Really, really, really good, Francesca. Really, really impressive so far. Really good job. 
Just make sure that we open the bunch and just bring up the speed. Come on, eh? Congrats girls, congrats, really, really nice one, really well deserved one, unbelievable again, congrats. Shout out to Francisca Koch, the friend, aka Frenchy, aka the machine. You lived amazing. <laughs> really amazing, Francie. Thanks for getting on the same bag. Another fantastic day for the team, the second stage win. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, it's good to have Lorena and yeah, she finished it off. How was it? Hard. <laughs> yeah, I think Francie was amazing today. And uh, yeah, she rode for 150k <laughs> in the front, so yeah. And uh, yeah, Lorena is just so strong in the sprint. I was trying to follow them and trying to help them, but it was just yeah, crazy final. Hot! Oh my god, yeah, they're special. Um, I think I never chased so long alone, um, but yeah. It is what it is, and I'm really happy that they finished it off. Like um, when I hear it in the radio, um, I'm not crying often, but uh, I have tears in my eyes. So I'm I'm really proud of the girls that they're finishing off um, after yeah, I invested so much. Mesdames et messieurs, celle qui s'impose et qui remporte la cinquième étape du Tour de France Femmes avec Zwift, c'est Lorena Vibus. Lorena... Longest day of the race, so it was long, but really nice. I really uh, enjoyed the outcome of today's race. Uh, I think we did everything what we needed to do, and we did it on high level. With uh, Francisca, who had an amazing day today. It was ridiculous how much work she did. And that helped us really a lot in the final with the girls that we could uh, save energy for that part. So I'm really happy with, uh, with the outcome that, uh, that Lorena finishes up. Yeah, again happy. Uh, yeah, I had to finish it because yeah. uh, Francie was on the front for more than 100k, I think, controlling the brake. So uh, we had to win today. There was not other, no other option. So at the end it was uh, all good. Uh, it was a different sprint because uh, a sprinter was already in the front at 400 meters to go and she of course didn't want to start a sprint so uh, the speed was going out a bit but I was able uh, to follow the girls who were coming from behind and uh, it was a good sprint. <laughs> First of all, Francie, thank, thank you to mode pacing like the whole day. It was really impressive and you can be uh, really proud of it. And uh, I think we can all be really proud of this stage and how we did it. Like not watching to the other teams, but uh, go for it. And uh, looking forward to the next stages to fight for your TC. And uh, cheers. cheers. About the stage itself, I think the um, goal keep you see with Juliet, the same spot or improve it, and potentially a stage result for Liana. I think if you look to the course, you have the said, the, the part till the climb till the top, let's say the first 20. In my opinion, we should be the first 20 kilometers 
be there, but not crazy active. I don't expect, if it goes, it probably goes on the climb. And if it doesn't go there, you will need all your energy for this part. For, uh, because this is actually crazy hot. If it's a race on here, it will be lined out, it will be people everywhere. So positioning on top of this one is important. When you go into the descent, even when Lorena says, okay, the, which you saw yesterday, that it could potentially be a bit slippery. At least that's how it looks. I think every day we make steps in it again. So let's continue doing, doing that. Lorena Wiebes holds on, but a few moments later on the descent, the Dutch rider makes a mistake and is dropped. Lorena Wiebes is on the deck and this doesn't look too good. The Dutch rider with blood to the elbow starts again, but she's alone. She loses any chance of a victory in Rosheim and certainly says goodbye to the green jersey. Team DSM has several cards up their sleeve. Liana Lippitt can play for the victory and so the teammates bring the gap down to only 40 seconds. But behind her, Liana Lippitt starts the attacks amongst the favourites. What can you say about the way she looks? Uh, yeah, she crashed really hard. I think that's uh, the conclusion so far. And the doctors are inside now to see uh, uh, what's going on and what we can do to, uh, to make it better, or what the follow-up steps will be. So it's a bit difficult to say something really about the uh, situation at the moment because I, I simply don't know. I know Lorena a bit, and when Lorena has the feeling that she can ride a bike, she will ride a bike. I also have to say it has to be also with common sense. It has to make sense, and for sure we have to take care for her as a person and a, and a rider. So, yeah, we will see. I think we have to wait for tonight, tomorrow morning, and uh, to make actually a good and sensible decision. Yeah, the goal is to see Juliet. That's the main goal for today, to improve it would be nice. Um, the way to there, I would say for the older climbs, Juliet and Liana stay together. For, let's say, you two, and you maybe see how you feel, I think that's the most important part before you, something else. On the flat part, if there is a break, it would be useful to be in, to see if you can get up front. I also can imagine it will be a big fight for it. They will not let the group easily go, so that's really something to to take in mind. And if there is nothing going, uh, let's say 10k before the climb, I also don't expect them to go still in between. And then on the last climb, uh, we see where the possibilities are, how the legs are, and if we can do something still there to, to get rid of a few girls. Are you laughing? <laughs> it's 
So proud. So huh? hard. <laughs> hey, you're also with the best of the world. Huh? Yeah. It can be hard. It was actually a nice day. It was uh, on the flat. A group of 30 uh, girls went. We had five. It was good. But after two kilometers on the climb, they uh, they were back already. And then the race opened, and uh, it already uh, was a sort of settled. We had uh, two girls on the road, a group behind uh, with Juliet, and uh, I think we did actually. Uh, a lot of things good today, no big mistakes. So I think we can be really, uh, really happy with the with the outcome. Place four on the GC at the moment. So really, really happy and looking forward to tomorrow. And uh, disappointed with Lorena leaving? Yeah, for, for sure. You can always use a, a rider like her, but in the end, it's also her health, and uh, we also need to uh, take that in mind. We we knew that it, uh, that she would uh, have problems when it comes to climbing already. But uh, after the crash, but it turned out just to be a bit too much uh, for her today. So yeah. too, too bad she uh, she stopped. But uh, it's also fine when we look to the the last part of the season. So the goal for today: move up a spot. Would be nice to to get to the podium on top uh, of the GC. So that is a that's the goal we start with. We have we are with three to make it work. So today is uh, the day to step up. So the, we have, at, at least in my opinion, we can split it up, let's say, in three parts. Yeah. Part Fiverr, part Liane, part Juliette. And Fiverr is the lucky one. You get about <laughs> 75 kilometers of the course. <laughs> Liane till here-ish, I guess. Maybe till here, depends a little bit how yeah. the day is going. For you, I would say, just take it easy as still, save energy yeah. wherever you can. In case if you are still there, uh, Liana and Juliet has the leg, I would say from the bottom on, mm -hmm. pace it on really good and high speed, just to wear out everybody. Yeah. And then it's all about the legs for you. But if it's all clear, then uh, good luck. Let's go, Juliet! Let's go, Juliet! Yeah, yesterday was close for me. I missed the time limit by five seconds and. Yeah, I'm super disappointed, but I didn't hit anything left. Like we went all out until the finish, and yeah, that it was not enough. So close. It's really sad, but yeah, that's how it is. Um, and yeah, today um, I'm not in the race, but uh, I will stick to my support role and uh, cheer my teammates up the climb because uh, yeah, I love to cheer for them, and uh, I'm sure they will do great. And yeah, so. Um, support them as good as possible, even if I'm not on the bike anymore. La première française au classement général, quatrième à 5-18, c'est Juliette Labousse. It's a home race for you, right? Yeah, it's in my region. I'm just living an hour away from here, so a lot of people are here. Uh, yesterday was already big crowds. What are your expectations for today about the crowds? I think it's going to be huge, like something we have never seen in women's cycling, maybe, or maybe so in some countries, but at least for me, I think that would be the most uh, impressive uh, crowds that we, we will see. 
And, and what about yourself? What are expectations for today? Uh, I hope I will have the legs that I had yesterday and that I can show it again today and I will try to go all in for the podium. Good luck. Thank you. because it was not so hard like in the Ballon d'Alsace so it was all about the last climb which was uh, not the best for me and I tried to drop Kasia but she was just uh, strong and she was stronger than me so podium was not possible first tour and top five and that's what I wanted so I can be happy <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> happy to finish. Yeah, happy to finish. Yeah, such an achievement. <laughs> yeah, no, it's really special actually. Yeah, first of all. Yeah. Today, uh, yeah, well, actually happy. I think this is all we uh, we managed to do, and uh, I think uh, Planche de Belleville is an honest club. Uh, I think fourth was the maximum for us, uh, so uh, we can be happy, more than happy with uh, the fourth place in the GC. So, yeah, um, no, you can sit on the Chiefs chair, it's fine. No. Um, there's actually not so much to say, maybe that we, uh, that we call in later this week again. I'm not sure yet, we will see. I will uh, update you about it. Just about today, started with three. I think everybody did the max and the outcome was also maximum what we could do. We didn't did make mistakes or whatsoever. So happy with that. Fourth in GC, two stage wins, wear the yellow jersey in Paris. Well, I think we can conclude that we have actually a really nice eight days of racing where everybody had a part in. Um, so actually, thank you for the whole week. Thanks for the nice time. Although, still thanks. Everybody could travel. Well, actually, you could travel. The other three are relaxing in the bus. And have a nice wedding from your sister. Yeah, on the 5th. And we see each other somewhere. I don't know where exactly. We will see. Yeah. Then thanks a lot also for the week. Yeah, thank you. Nice. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. It's great. Nice. More things. Also, thanks for the great content. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good.